Hey guys, in this one we're going to create player hat so we can display our held mana and stamina. And as I mentioned in a preview, later on we can use it to have a quick slots or buffs and debuffs or anything really that we need to display on screen, even active quests and minimap. Now, I have included two new assets in the description link of this video so you can download them and import them in Unreal. It is the progress bar fill and tile background. So first one we'll be using for health and mana bars and the second one you can use for any background you like because this is a seamless texture. So I made this in Photoshop so when you put them next to each other they repeat so you don't have a edge to them or anything like that. They don't look weird, okay? And if you like you can use it for you know inventory background or anything with the crafting and stuff. But first thing that you need to change because I made it really dark black and white you need to change this brightness curve to like 0.1 and that way it's not as visible so you can change the color better and everything else so it's just a little bit of the texture so it's not just the flat color okay as a background now we'll save it like this and also while we're here we can change this progress bar fill the same thing so progress bar fill needs to be 0.1 because it's very dark okay and it is just like literally boring pattern here that you know we wouldn't have a flat colors again and it has a space so we would actually create bars from the health and mana i'll show you why it actually works so we'll save it and now we need to create player hat so go to your third person blueprints widget and let's create a new one right click user interface widget blueprint this one is player hat underscore widget open it up here we only need to add canvas panel we'll compile and save and now to display it so we'll do it when the game starts go to your player blueprint and on event begin play we will just drag this back and we can uh, create widget widget we're creating is player hat and we need to add it to viewport from the return value okay so add to viewport and as soon as we start the game this will spawn the player hat widget and in here we can just create some held mana and stamina bars okay so we need to search for progress bars add it to the canvas panel this one will be held bar and there's quite a few options that you have on these bars and I'll try to go through all of them. So first we can just change the size to maybe 350. I'll change size Y to 40. And here in the style, so if you open this style, you got these three things. So you got background image, fill image and marquee image. Okay, so for background image is just, it's quite self-explainable. It's this background that you can change the color of okay so whatever we change it here that will be the background and for us we're going to just change it to something on the dark side on the dark side 0 0.7 for alpha channel just make it a little bit darker it will stand out when we do a bar press ok and then you got few options. If you have some custom made held bar, you can here change it as imi to image and just import it as an image here so you would have a custom held bar. So if you make something really nice Photoshop in a Photoshop that is st styled and stuff, so you can have it here. Um, or if you don't, then you just use it as a color. But then we have a fill image. And again, we will be changing the fill image this time. So instead of having just flat color, when we change the person here to 0 0.5, you can see it. Uh, to change the color, be careful here because you got the tint here under fill image and you also have a fill color and opacity. And they take both of these into account, so one of them needs to be white, okay? Otherwise they mix together. So if you have this one at blue and you want to change this to like red, you can see that you're getting mixed color between those two okay so one of them always has to be white so i like to leave this one at white and this one we can change so for now i actually 
like the pink color that we're using in crafting and everything so i'll use that for my health bar so i don't have a standard one like green or red but you can do whatever you like and after we change the color one thing we can do is now import the image so here in the image we will change it to progress bar fill and you can you cannot see it yet because here we also need to change it to draw us image and now we need to do tiling both or just horizontal both of them do, do the same things and now if you can see i'm not sure if you can see it but there is a bit of a texture going on in the background of this so it's not just a flat color again and the space i've created in a photoshop is giving us like a bars that we have for the for the health okay and it's just really nice that it, it's not like one bar together so it's you know it's a bit separated it looks a bit better and now when we play the game it actually displays something like that so i kind of like it but there is a few more things that we can do to style it okay so now to kind of offset it and give it a little bit of edge a little bit of border you got down in the progress bar so in a health bar you scroll down and here you got border padding which changes the padding i'll show you if you put in a two and two changes this outside padding okay so how far this filling will be from the edge i'm probably going to change it to four and four because otherwise it can look a bit weird and yeah there is there is one more setting that it's a bit experimental as well at the moment because you can't really edit it in many ways but there is this enable fill animation and when you press it it will animate like this but you need to have a perfect image for this so that's why i made this one in the photoshop because otherwise if you just add random image it will kind of snap to different positions as well it needs to be perfect size for this okay so this one actually is and this way we can later on when we maybe add health we can animate this so it would start doing this and we just increase the health okay that might be actually quite useful and for marquee image just don't worry about that because that's like if you enable the marquee image there's like a button is marquee it will just do the whole thing animation as well and you can change it but i don't know what uses are for this but i'll just leave it off and that's pretty much it now there is one really annoying thing that is happening with this bus and that is it has its own border automatically and you can't change the color anywhere i tried everything i tried the rounded box changing the outline and stuff like that and you can't remove it so you can't really see it as much on the dark edges which is fine but if you change it to something lighter you know if you want to do some bars that will fit your game you have a uh, this edge and stuff so you have a border automatically added on it and it's i don't know it it's really annoying i don't know i personally don't like it so i don't mind it on a dark color but generally if you have some different project i try to do some health bars and stuff and it was just you know it was just screwing over what actually i wanted something to look like so the one thing that I know of that you can remove it is we can make this thin zero so we'll completely remove it and then we can wrap this health bar with a border okay so that will be just a custom border that we'll do for it and it will wrap the whole progress bar but here now turn off the padding because it will give you extra padding we already have a padding set on it okay so turn off the padding and now you can change the tint to what it was before okay and you don't have that outline that was there before if you want that outline if you want to have a border you can wrap this border with another border okay that way you can style it as well but it can be then opaque because then you would add border behind this basically so this one will be darker and stuff so this is how we will do the bar and if you play the game i think that actually looks a bit better but i feel like my border on top was a little bit different for 
this thing like a pixel snapping in Unreal Engine that sometimes it basically moves two pixels, like merges two pixels together and then it looks like that one side you have one pixel border on the other side you got two pixel borders that's why you're trying to avoid just very thin borders and that's why I have put four in our health bar which is yeah, border padding four and four and now we have a health bar we can just duplicate this whole thing or this border control and D and this one we can have as a mana bar then let's also position it so I want to have oop, select the border just drag it down somewhere where you want it you can have it up here if you like you can have it in the middle whatever your preference is I'll drag mana bar just under and I'll make it like something like this Oop. so it's just under each other but overlapping kind of okay and this one we can just now change the color and that will be something blue so this will be my mana bar and now okay that's quite simple but I don't think it looks that bad you got a bit of a texture going you know seem to be working fine and now we can also add the stamina bar so for stamina bar I don't want to copy them probably so I'm just going to do a new progress bar this one I'll anchor to the middle so go to anchors control and shift so this one bottom middle then I will change the size to 400 I'll make size Y maybe only like 8 so if you want really thin bars like maybe some people want dark souls or something you can have them like this you know very thin one just red and that will work for you for this one I'm just going to offset position Y to minus 200 maybe even minus 300 because I want to have a space here in the middle where this is going to be stamina so it's gonna going to be draining and it only shows up when we're actually using it or something and then we here under we can do some quick slots or something else okay and for stamina I'm just going to this time use the other tile background that I used so it's not separated okay so it will only have a little bit of texture I'll change it to I'll change it to background my bad so fill image tile background change it to image and both for tiling otherwise it's just stretches one image over and you can't really see that well now but if you change the percentage to 0 0.8 now we have the fill image so what we can do is change this background image again it can be something like this something very dark but 0 0.8 five it will be very light and here you can really see that border that you can't really remove okay but this one I want to have rounded so what we're going to do is background image I'll change it from box to uh, rounded box and then outline settings we can do is it half height yeah half height radius you also need to change it on the fill image otherwise fill image will be square so fill image if it rounded box is yeah it's going to keep our texture as well and now we can change the color down here to maybe something like this okay and let's see what that looks like cool so we do have a bar in the middle 
as well that will be draining with the stamina and then we got health bar and mana bar and now let's just set them so they will display for now we only need to do it at once when the player hard is spawned so first we name this progress bar to stamina bar so we have all three variables and compile and save let's go to graph in here we need to get the play reference so cast to play blueprint delete these two we'll get play character in here we will promote this to a variable called play ref and we're going to create custom event which will be set uh, progress bars okay and we're going to call it here set progress bars and now we need to get our health bar we'll set percent we need to get our play reference get current stat value get current stat sorry get current stat and from the component we'll get max stat the way we're going to get the percentage is we're going to change both of them and their health so we're going to just divide them so divide the first value by the second one and that will give us value between 0 and 1 and we connect it to percent now for the stamina bar oh, let's do mana bar set percent we need to get the same thing here so just cop I'll copy the whole thing connect it here change it to mana paste it one more time then let's get the stamina bar set percent and connect it here and change it to stamina okay compile and save let's just double check if we have all of the stats in the player so click on the stats component you have 50 out of 100 mana stamina is 100 out of 100 i'll do 90 so we can see if it works and health is 50 out of 100 okay so that one we can also change to something else so it's not the same as mana we'll do 50 out of 200 compile and save let's play the game and they're all setting correctly right and obviously if you want to style it a little bit different just you can play with the values but i think this is quite nice simple and you know it doesn't look that bad so we'll be using this one all right i'll see you in the next video bye